What's up, guys? It's on Wobble here, Aaron, showing you this nice view. Coming to you from a little rest stop overlooking the bay, as you can see. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about, you know, what Intense 90 is for me. Um, you know, a lot of people come into trying to, you know, transform their body, you know, get bigger uh, muscles, lose weight, uh, you know, around the waist, just in general. Uh, I decided that um, I wasn't going to take that approach and that when I did this that I was going to lose weight. I mean, uh, not lose weight, but focus on my health and a byproduct of that was going to be losing weight. So. In essence, what I decided is that, you know, for an intense 90, it wasn't going to be like, oh, I have to follow this pattern so that I could be this person. It was going to be me trying to figure out the best way to love myself. And for me, having a routine every day, waking up, following something that I can, you know, put my mind to and, and, and just grasp and live by it is how I love myself. So in order for me to continue that, and move forward I have to always remind myself that this transformation that's happening isn't my body it's my mind my body my soul and um, my spirit so there's more and more things that I can like touch on but the reality of it is is I just want to be the best version of me for me um, intense 90 with Aaron Williamson has been a godsend I've had the opportunity now to work with him for about six weeks and you know Yes, I lost uh, 27, 26, 20, I don't know, something, good amount of weight in about six weeks. Um, you know, obviously I'm in a calorie deficit, but you know, that stuff really doesn't matter to me because it's actually helping me with my mind because I'm not on caffeine, I'm not doing any of the things that I've always struggled with, I'm not eating bad, I don't have cravings. Um, I have a cheat meal just because I'm supposed to have one, but like there are, Maybe there are some times where I like, ooh, that cookie looks good, or ooh, like, you know, I want a hamburger and some fries. But I don't always have to do that. So when I look at it from that point of view, I just tell myself like, hey, you know, love yourself and be the best version of yourself that you can possibly be. So, you know, a lot of the different things that I've been challenged with over the last, you know, five, six months is, um, how can I be in the best routine possible without uh, taking away from myself? Um, it's been a struggle. There's no easy way to say that. Um, it's hot as hell out here right now, <laughs> and I just got done at the gym. But man, all of this is so worth it. No, nothing, you know, none of this compares or anything like that. And hold on. Hey, by the way, you guys can come over here. Not gonna bother me. Days, and we thought we gotta stop yeah. and look, but we're yeah. not that we've seen much better view than this. Oh yeah. If you go to um the poly lookout, did you do that yet? No, where is that one? Okay, so um hold on guys. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, sorry about that guys. So anyways, um as I was saying I need a routine, right? I need to be happy. I need to focus on being the best version of me and loving myself. Um, Aaron's given me a routine that allows me to not so much rely on it per se, but a, a structure that I can live by. And that's so relevant because most times, like for example, 75 hard, for me, like it was all about the challenge, the mindset, but I had to create everything that I was doing. I followed an old workout plan that I had. I just was eating a specific way so that I, I knew how much calories, I mean, how much protein I was intaking, but that's kind of what I stuck to. That was my diet. I didn't eat bad. I didn't have cheat meals, but I didn't necessarily have a plan. You know what I mean? Um, and Aaron has given that to me, but plans matter. Like, you know, like you're gonna deviate every once in a while, but hey, if you fuck up yesterday, it doesn't mean tomorrow you can't be the best version of yourself. You know what I mean? Everybody falls off once in a while, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world. The point I'm trying to make is, is intense 90s really give me an opportunity to understand who I am 
as opposed to like, you know, what I am. There's a difference. Um, what I am, I'm a father, I'm a husband, I'm a Marine, uh, I'm a man, um, you know, I'm a son, even though my parents aren't in my life. I'm a grandson, my grandparents aren't in my life anymore either. Um, but those are things that I start to look at, right? It's who I am. I'm not a what, neither are you. None of you are. You have to find it deep within yourself to understand who you are for you. Not what you are, who you are. Um, again, all of these things I'm learning as I learn, my, I learn more about myself and start to love myself. And it's been one of the, 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 the greatest opportunities that I've had to work with Aaron in Intense 90. And I'm telling you guys, if you're not like, if you think like money's gonna change like the perception of you working with somebody like Aaron, you're wrong. Like, like it's not about the money. It's about being able to give everything you got. And he's not gonna like, restrict you to the worst things in the world, none of that. But be your best version of you. That's all. And I, I promise you, if you continue on the path and you build discipline, you know, consistency builds discipline. Every day is a small hurdle. So just be your best, do your best, and be yourself. That's it. All right, I'm gonna head out. I need to go take a shower, eat my uh, post meal, but uh, Sarn wobble out. Peace.